Hi folks, Roger Moore here at Hypnosis Health Info. You know, people are often talking to me in the ferry and other places or even clients here in my office uh, about their trips to the doctors because they had a cold or they had the sniffles or they had a sore throat and, and or maybe perhaps the flu and they're talking about taking antibiotics and over-the-counter medications and and I always kind of scratch my head at that because one, it's pretty rare for me to get the sniffles or have a sore throat and it's been years since I last had the flu and I don't do flu shots and and I can't imagine taking antibiotics for the, for a head cold or a sore throat and and uh, and I certainly can't imagine going to the doctor because I have a head cold. It's just like, why would I do that? Even back in the days when I was very unhealthy and was more susceptible to colds and the flus, even then it was like, well, okay, so I have a cold, why would I go to the doctor? But in recent years of, of being at a healthy weight, of using hypnosis to uh, giving myself suggestions about you know, boosting my immune system, my immune system keeps me healthy and pr protects me from any disease, and and because I focus my eating on vegetables and whole grains and fruit and I'm not eating junk food and and I've also suspected that exercise had a key component of it because one of the things I've noticed in at the health club is that the people that I work out with are rarely um, missing a, a day at the gym because they have a cold or because they're sick. They're a pretty healthy group of people so I've just assumed that exercise absolutely had an influence on that and so I was pretty interested when I came across a study that was in WebMD on November 1st of 2010 that talks about upper respiratory tract infections is reduced in physically fit and active adults. And this was published in the British Journal of Sports Medicine, this study. And it says people who are physically fit and active catch fewer colds and the colds they do get are milder. The most significant finding of the study was that people who were physically fit and who engaged in exercise five or more days per week were about half as likely to suffer cold symptoms compared to participants who reported less physical activity. What is more, researchers say that the severity of the symptoms fell by 41% among those who felt fitter and by 31% among the most physically active. Exercising sparks a temporary rise in immune system cells. The researchers say that each round of exercise is thought to enhance the body's surveillance of harmful viruses and bacteria, therefore reducing the number and severity of infections such as the common cold. I'll, I will admit that a couple weeks ago, uh, on Sunday I began to feel, uh, oh, maybe s slightly achy, but it was more just a sense of uh, being tired. It felt like my body was working really hard. Uh, and I wasn't being real physical active or very physically active in the moment. It just felt like everything took a more effort and energy and and I had this suspicion that perhaps I was was coming down with something and Sunday night um, I even had a, just a, t a touch of fever during the night and and um, I woke up a couple times coughing and Monday I had a little bit of a runny nose and and but overall, you know, other than feeling tired, I didn't exhibit a lot of symptoms of having a cold or a flu, and uh, throat was a little scratchy, but not a big deal, and pretty much kind of went on with my my routine. And and although Monday morning uh, when I got up to go to the gym, uh, I just realized how tired and exhausted I was, and I thought, okay, for once, listen to your body, pay attention here, and uh, just forget the gym today and go back to bed, which I did. And I also did it on Tuesday because I felt, felt kind of the same way Tuesday morning when I, when I got up. And, but by about nine o'clock on Tuesday, I was actually feeling pretty good at 9 a.m. And, and went off and had a full day of clients and maybe had to blow my nose twice and throat was fine and, and energy was coming back. And by Wednesday, I was 100%. I was back in the gym in spin class and have been flying ever since. It was a very short-lived and very mild touch of, I'm guessing, a head cold. But folks, you know, from my perspective and my experience with working with people who are uh, physically fit, who are eating healthy, who use hypnosis, overall tend to experience greater health and wellness. 
And so if you're one of those folks that's constantly running to the doctor uh, to get antibiotics or you have a head cold or you're constantly have sore throats or um, you get flu uh, frequently, I would really urge you to take a look at your lifestyle. Take a look at what you're eating. Are you eating lots of junk food? Are you eating a lot of processed foods? Are you eating a lot of sugars? Or are you eating vegetables? Are you eating whole grains? Are you, are you eating fruit? And what about your physical activity? Are you exercising at least five days a week and boosting your immune system that way? And then I would also absolutely encourage you to learn hypnosis and learn how to boost your immune system, to talk to your unconscious mind, to get your immune system to protect you, to keep you healthy, to keep you well. And, uh, you know, if you uh, look around in your area, check around online, you're going to find some good qualified hypnotherapists. If you have questions about that, feel free to contact me. Either give me a call at 206-903-1232 or send me an email, roger at hypnosishealthinfo.com. And I'll be happy to help, help you uh, locate a, a good uh, qualified hypnotherapist in your area. And if you're here in the Puget Sound area, uh, I'd be happy to meet with you here in my Seattle office in the Medical Dental Building, downtown Seattle, or in my office on Bainbridge Island, or once a month I'm over in Forks. And if you live too far away from Puget Sound and aren't finding somebody to work with in your area that you're comfortable with, then give me a call, send me an email, and uh, over the phone, using Skype, using the internet, uh, we can set you up in a good quality program that's going to support you in your goals of health and wellness. So be sure to check around here at Hypnosis Health Info at all the tools and the resources that are here. Read up in hypnosis and find out that it really is the ultimate display of control. Take back your health and wellness with hypnosis. I'm Roger Moore and this is Hypnosis Health Info.